Hello and welcome to the UK Surf Show. We are your hosts. I'm Pete. And I'm Mitch. And Pete just took a run up to do his hello. <laughs> I saw that on film. <laughs> so yeah, as you say, film this one. As soon as we kick into the interview, you can watch it on the YouTube. Um, we recorded the main interview with the guys from Army Surfing, guys and girls, I should say, from Army Surfing. And... Um... It, you know, the club I've been part of for, I don't know, the last six, seven years, I think, as we discovered. Um, my yeah. last ever event with Army Surfing, with the Army at all. So actually, what a way to finish. Two surf competitions. Got to compete against you, Pete. You joined the Army for the week. That was a fucking disaster, wasn't it? Yeah, there he is. You're in. That's you. You're in the Army now. That's it. Yeah. No, the, uh, the com- I mean, the competing side of it, the Army, <laughs> the army side of it was great. All, all the... All the guys and girls in there were absolutely brilliant and proper, like proper piss takers, just like the kind of people that I like. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't. St- I, I hate serious people. People who oh, are really boring, serious all it? the time. It's boring. So boring. I'd rather you come and take the piss out of me, or I take the piss out of you. Which is an open invitation. Just... So if you see me is... at a service station, <laughs> yeah. if he's in his car, anywhere he's at the shops. Just go attack yeah, him. just come and take the piss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this was. Um, this was really good actually because it's we had people from army surfing from people who've just joined up to people who have been there for 10 plus years or Season something like that veterans of the club yeah as we discover some people i didn't know had been part of the club for as long as they had actually yeah yeah and it was quite quite insightful to see what goes on in army surfing and <laughs> you know i've got no idea what goes on in normal day-to-day army life but army surfing was uh, was good fun yeah well i'm glad you enjoyed it you had a week holiday i had two weeks uh working obviously working are we calling it holiday now are we well for you it is <laughs> <laughs> i was just working that's my job yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it looked look really hard yeah um <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah. yeah no it was it was amazing actually and you know i i guess i saw how appreciated in the club i have been i don't i didn't realize i was that big a member of the club so that was amazing some of the presentations and stuff i got from the club were honestly insane i've got my my jeep leaders yellow jersey framed up yeah hanging on the wall um i got a lifetime achievement award i mean who's got one of them yeah i've got a few of them no, you don't. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> Not no, from no. Army, I, do you know the best thing about it was I could see you as they brought something out to you, as you're hearing this, um, and you very nearly got emotional until Alex ruined it all nearly. by dropping a C which bomb is, at you. Yeah, yeah, which is what, how our relationship goes. I mean, he's a terrible yeah. lizard, but I love him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, so we should say, sponsor of this episode is our new show sponsor, Adrenaline Athlete. And if you want 50% off either the home or the gym edition of the Adrenaline Athlete Training Programme, for the gym version, it is all uppercase, Surf Gym 50. And for the home version, it is Surf Home 50, and that's all uppercase as well. And you'll find that on the Adrenaline Athlete website. Yeah, or go to his Instagram and there's a link through there. Listen to the end of the show and we'll give you discount codes for surface wetsuits and North Gore as well. Yeah. So should we just get into this army surfing so people can see the video and see our stupid faces on film if you go and watch it on YouTube? Let's get on with yeah. it because I put a lot of time into finding some old ass pictures and videos, mostly of Alex Mason. <laughs> <laughs> just an absolute stitch up of him. Absolute yeah. stitch up. So yeah, here we go with the guys and girls from Army Surfing. Oh, that's I've been recording well, mate. Have you actually had this? Yeah, like a grown up. <laughs> Yeah, fine, yeah. Fucking hell, you're loud. That's the only one. I get that a lot. <laughs> oh, no one wants that, do they? Give me one, two. Minute. One, two, one, two, one, two, yeah, two. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So we're here with Army Surfing. We've got a fine group in front of me, men and women from Army Surfing. And uh, what we're going to do is we'll go around the room and we'll just get you to introduce yourself, who you are, how long you've surfed, and how long you've been with Army Surfing. So. Um, I'm Helen. I'm coming from Colchester. I am a nurse in the army, and I've been surfing for about six months, so not long at all, comparison to everyone else here. Um, but yeah, not long at all, and it's my first army surfing competition here. Amazing. So. And how did you get on the army surfing competition? I came second. You came second. Women's. So you've been surfing for six months, yeah. and you came second. Are you just one of the naturally talented people? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so everyone else must be gutted. 
<laughs> All right, and next, how about yourself? I'm Lily, I come from Colchester as well. I'm a medic and I've been in army surfing for probably around the same time, maybe eight months. Okay. Sweet. And this is your first event? Yeah, first competition. Okay, and how did you get on today? Yeah, I came second in the novice. You came second in the novice. We've literally got a room full of show-offs. Well, actually, <laughs> looking at who's up next. Oh. <laughs> what about yourself, fella? No. Oh. What about yourself, fella? <laughs> I've been oh, no. the army stuff. <laughs> yeah, he knows the Brecon point now. We're all in trouble. <laughs> Um, yep, so I'm Alex Mason. Uh, I also work at Colchester, uh, same medical regiment as these guys. Um, so yeah, I've been with Army Surfing for uh, about 10 years. So since I joined the Army, I was lucky that the guy I was working with, uh, he was already involved with it. So I pretty much just tagged along from You've there. You've not been with Army Surfing for 10 years. Since Clyde. Started it. Yeah. I thought I was Army Surfing before you. No. That's You're pretty How old are you? Old, very. Wow. Oh yeah, you could definitely stay in army surfing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the nicest compliment you've ever had? I think so. Yeah, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah. yeah. What well, about yourself? I think how old am I? Yeah. How old do you think I am? You're old as fuck. <laughs> well, there you go. That's how old I am. Well, yourself. Yeah, I'm Martin. Um, I've been with army surfing three years now. Um, I'm in the signals and I've been in the army back. Six and a half now. Yeah. And what about you? Where are you from? Oh, Blanford is where I'm. I'm from Blanford, working there. I live down in Newquay. I've lived in Newquay for about 10 years now ish. Are you actually there. from Blanford area? No, so I'm. It's a weird one. I'm <laughs> from Southampton. Moved down when I was young, living in Tenostal, but now I've been in Newquay about 10 oh, years. I wish I hadn't asked. So you're like everyone from Newquay, yeah, not from Newquay? Pretty Newquay. much. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, you're an alien, is that what they call them? Yeah. Yeah, we get a lot of names. A you lot get of people a lot don't of like it. it. But you, I thought you were a local. You're like a local. I try to be. You know the spots, you got the lingo. I definitely you've got an hostile local, <laughs> mate. <laughs> yeah. You've got the shoes. Uh, the Crocs, man. <laughs> the Crocs. <laughs> Everyone loves the Crocs. They like the McQueen Crocs. And they light up. They do. And um, uh, they obviously <laughs> 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 they obviously didn't cost more than, what, 30 quid? Oh, no, definitely not more than that. No, so you do didn't you get uh, Do you want to tell us how much they cost? Did you get into a bidding war? Uh, I got into a bidding war with an American online, and oh. I didn't want to lose to the American. My cutoff was 130 until he put in 135, so I went 150, and that's how much I paid. <laughs> and, and you feel good about that? I've been wanting these for a long for time. Oh so yeah. I genuinely think the Greg's Crocs have got more credibility. <laughs> but I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, they don't have lights in, to be fair. Exactly that. Fair. Everyone loves them. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> Especially Alex. I, do, I want these to work, mate. <laughs> 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 you totally do. Uh, there must be a board coming looking like Lightning McQueen. Absolutely. It's in the Is pipe it? work. Is it actually? It's in the pipe work. Yeah. Love it. I'll look out for that one. Yeah. <laughs> and who's up next? Hi, I'm Beth. Um, I started in army surfing on, I think, the same beginner's week as you, Scott. So was that six years ago now, maybe? Was that coaching on it? No, I'm sure you were on beginners. Ah, yeah, I was on one. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so that was six years ago. It may have been longer because it's a long time ago. That lizard on yeah. Facebook for six years as we established. Yeah, this week on memories. So it's been a tough six years as well as horrible. Horrible. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was the first event I went to with army surfing, and then since then I've tried to get down when I can. I think I've been on the committee about three years as well now. So yeah, yeah, nice. Trying to help okay. out. Stuff, so. Amazing. What about myself? Uh, I'm Patrick. I've uh, been surfing for about three years, but incredibly badly. You know, like I can't, I'm, I'm nowhere near any of these guys watching them today. Yeah. Uh, I've only been involved in army surfing for about a year, but f threw myself in the deep end and decided to sort of volunteer for organising the, uh, the competition for the next two weeks. Okay, so, yeah. yeah, sort of watching these guys today surfing. Um, I exhausted myself even though I didn't get in the water. So, no, it's brilliant. Um, having a good time. But, yes, yeah, it's, it's been... Um, it's been good. I, I'd like to sort of develop my surfing for probably you know another year or so. Really like dedicate to it and mm. get in the water every yeah, day, yeah, yeah. but so sporadic, you know, Careful. just just w with with the job. So yeah, that's me. How difficult is it to organise an army surfing event? Um, do you know what? Like with with everything in army sport, and and this is a double edged sword. I think um, you are just given free reign basically to, to run it as you want uh, and try and make it what you want it to be. So there's there's a, the parameters are incredibly wide. Yeah. 
um, but that also means that you have to do quite a lot of hard work to make it, you know, yeah. to make it an enjoyable event. Yeah. So, and especially if you're like me and you've not run, like, you know, how many people have run a surfing event, really, you know? And if you're like me and you've not run. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd never know people. You know, spe- <laughs> especially being a, pr- a pretty average surfer as well. Um, yeah, it can, it can be quite difficult, yeah. but I, I think the army gets it right with sport in that if you're an amateur and you just want to give it a go, be it compete or you want to organise something, you've always got, you know, someone behind you saying, yeah, absolutely do it. It's it's massively encouraged. So, yeah, it's been it's been really fun. I've really enjoyed it. What challenges have you experienced trying to get this going? And once you've been here, then what challenges in practice are you facing? Um, it's it's probably just making it making it enjoyable for different abilities and making sure that also people like myself who, who have been new to the club in the last year also feel like a part of it. Like you're not leaving them out. Um, anyone can compete. Um, and, you know, make, making it enjoyable from people that are just surfing white water for the first time you know hardly been on a surfboard but you know get mm. to it into their first competition yeah. yeah to people who are you know seasoned veterans be uh, coming here every single year so making it enjoyable for everybody but also the little things you know i've I, i'm not i'm not myself a massively accomplished surfer so making you know th- there's been a lot of bits this week where it's been rough around the edges but that's all part of it you know we, we, yeah. we it wouldn't get off the off the ground if if you didn't make mistakes along the way, so yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. So, so you guys, the newest to army surfing, right? So, how did you find out about army surfing first, and then what was your expectation against the your, what you actually experienced when you got here? Um, so I first heard about army surfing when I was actually away on a swift response to Macedonia. Okay. Um, so see, I was away working really hard, <laughs> and all my other colleagues were on the army surf ar- initial okay. army surfing week at the start of this year. Yeah. I was like, I want to get on that. I don't want to pack boxes. I want to go out surfing. I want to learn how to surf. Um, so then I actually spoke to Alex. Um, so he works a couple of sheds down. And I was like, how can I get involved in this? Um, I want time off work. I want to go away and do some fun stuff. And he was like, there's another army surfing week coming up. So I just put my name for it. A lot of the girls that I work with had also been. I said it was absolutely brilliant. They loved it. And yeah, so I put my name for it. Got a place. And then just got the train down. Had a great time. And then you've walked away with a trophy. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming. No. Amazing. <laughs> and what? how's it been for the week? How have you found it? I found it really good, actually. Did you have an expectation of what it would be or not? No. And if I'm honest, so going to the competition today, uh, we had a couple of us had a chat last night. Of team talk. A team talk of what do we actually do? Right, um, yeah. <laughs> um, That's so probably my fault for not explaining <laughs> the rules <laughs> so in as much detail as I perhaps yeah. should have done. Yeah, <laughs> so we were kind of like, okay, so see, originally we were just here for the surf, we were going to enter the women's and enter the novice, and we were just like, apart from obviously just trying to ride a wave and not drown, which yeah. I'm very good at, um, the drown aspect that is, um, how do you actually score points? How do you actually try yeah, and right. win this thing yeah um so we did that and obviously then also today we got thrown into the bodyboarding now that was a completely different kettle of fish mm-hmm. um the girls actually went and researched it last night i didn't and then got in the water today and i was like i don't know how to bodyboard <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing but we're gonna make it work Fair one. and we made it work um got some good waves got carried quite a lot it was good it was great fun and what came out of the team talk last night then from your research what was the game plan going on the water today have f- have fun, don't drown. <laughs> 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 that worked. <laughs> that worked. Yeah. So, yeah, it was great fun. And then for the old sweat, my uh, the pillow, as I like to call you, call you the Hello. pillow, don't we? Sometimes. Why do we call yeah, you the pillow? Because I got you a pillow, didn't I? One yeah, day. Well, you did get me. So Alex got me a pillow with my face on it, <laughs> based on what <coughs> he thought would then be funny, because it somehow worked the other way around. Where after we'd done the first army surfing Hebrides trip. Alan just Alex just got his little um, caddy, VW it caddy, yeah. caddy out himself in the back, and he sent a picture to the group we had, the WhatsApp group we had going on, of his caddy. Right, <laughs> and it was a picture of the back of it, and I remember seeing this pillow in the back, and <laughs> I then put on the group, and it was a picture like you know when you get the main picture, and it zoomed in a little, zoomed in a little, zoomed in a little. It was a picture I remembered Alex getting from his GoPro of him just sitting on his board, <laughs> and this pillow <laughs> was just him sitting on his own surfboard. And I was like, I thought Whoa. maybe he gave it to Tinder dates after every single date in the back of his van. He had a, a, a box this of pillows. This is Mitch's story. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a pillow of himself. Oh, <laughs> weird though. <laughs> But I mean, however, it was, it was a secret Santa gift, and the photo was taken by Al Sharmas, I think. 
It was our it was like, on that it was trip. Your GoPro on your own board. No, 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 no. It went. It went that one. It was. We'll, we'll, we got to get the photo up just to well, prove we it. We will get the photo up <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah. I'll find that photo, and then we'll find the other photo that I got. And, the, uh, and what was well. this when when you lost my hat famously at Boardmasters? Yeah. What was the box of CDs I found in your car that in your oh, caddy? Oh, it was like Westlife, Boyzone. What uh, else is it? Yeah, it yeah. was. Um, Oh yeah, that was all that was stuff. All on oh, it. I love it. it. Was, uh, <laughs> what's it? Harry Styles. <laughs> Harry he had a big Styles, box yeah. of just Harry yeah. Styles CDs yeah. in his van. What an absolute it was legend. One Direction, actually, mate. Fucking so hell. <laughs> and so, <laughs> 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 and what, it was it was One yeah. Direction. So you're the old sweat in the room of Army Surfing. Yeah, I guess so. How yeah. have you <coughs> seen it? I thought when you first came ten years ago, it's a long time ago. It's been a lot of change then. What was it like then? Yeah, it's changed a lot. I think it's a lot less clicky. There was a real click when I I got in, and if you weren't in with them it was really hard to kind of come along and get on with events and stuff mm. so it's definitely more um open now and like you say there's always new faces on every event so yeah. so it's good yeah i think that's great as well because i when i didn't first get involved in army surfing it was for that reason because it seemed too clicky it was hard to get on anything but actually when i came down that was changing and tim who currently is the secretary of the club yeah who came so on that heavy yeah. trip for yeah. the first time actually became the secretary and just put so much change into the club and I think it went from just being an army sport sort of avenue to an actual surf club where in the club we have you know we train our own coaches if you guys don't know that if you stick with the club uh, we will pay for you to go and do a surf coach course to do a, 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 a surf rescue course as well so you can come and lifeguard the events and save me doing it anymore because every time I have to go out and <laughs> you're not allowed to do it anymore you've been dishonorably <laughs> discharged uh, yes I have <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even in the argument I'm just going to let you have that now yeah. um, it's, really awful, <laughs> it's, it's terrible everyone knows they listen that that's not the case no they know he's just got discharged <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so and how do you how does it compare now when you come to these events to then is it a completely different thing does it feel more professional yeah it's a lot friendlier um Obviously, it's developed more over the years. Like, everything's grew. You know, we've got loads of team boards and stuff. So when new people come, that there's just, you know, over the years, we've managed to get more funding and stuff. And now most people know about army surfing. I would say or a lot more people know, mm. you know, um, social media presence is there now, whereas it, it wasn't well, really pushed back Is there a social media presence, Alex? Well, the Who's the, the social <laughs> media manager now? <laughs> It will be me, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> however, no, no, you no, no, are it here. It will be you. It so is you. So, so <laughs> yes, it is me. Um, I've not had a proper handover yet. Oh I don't think. Mate, I got medically discharged. So you're on your own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you we'll need to see. know? I gave you the login details. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally it. He gave it me. I asked for it out in Sumatra. He gave it me like the no, day I was flying back. <laughs> no, 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 but that's because we weren't allowed to use it at the time. Oh, okay, you know that. Okay. okay. So today, uh, as, as as people know, depending on what order these podcasts come out in, you well, are this Alex Mason Photography. So okay. you planned today during the comp to get the water housing out and go do some photography. Did. How did that go? I surfed instead. <laughs> <laughs> it went really well. Yeah, I did. It and, was uh, right. Martin, local boy or not, alien. Sorry. He's getting thrown mics. How so? You've been involved how long? Say about three years. Yeah, about three years now. Um, the first thought, yeah, I just like tipped onto the events, mm. surfed, and that was it. Um, the last two years, I got really into it. Like you were telling the girls, um, I've got my coaching and lifeguarding through it now, all fully paid for. Um, I've got the scholarship through um, Army Surfing, um, which is is what. Um, so a co a company has sponsored the Army and Army Sport, um, and we put in applications to be. Um, in a scholarship scheme and um, one of the paybacks for that is we have to compete in a national event and for us it's the interclubs that happens every year um so that's quite easy for me to get on mm. um and then we used uh the indonesia trip that we come back on a few months ago um as we had a competition out there as sort of a international competition um and you get a 800 quid <laughs> free board, yeah. That, yeah. So it's I, a free board. I won't lead you down the rabbit path, sort of thing, to ask how you've spent that. But I'm sure you've spent that appropriately. Oh no, well on his on his Crocs, I think. In a bed and war. I <laughs> promise it did not go on his Crocs. Okay. <laughs> no, it went on a um, new board for Indonesia. Um, even though I didn't surf it too much out there. Mm. Um, what else did it go on? Tattoo. I could do with some more tattoos. <laughs> did you get a tattoo in Indonesia? I did get a tattoo out there. I can't get it out. It's uh, now I've got trousers on, but like you could describe a it. lot of us got tattoos out there. Uh, Everyone got the same tattoo. Yeah, I don't suppose they all went down really well. I know they didn't for uh, <laughs> one some person, people. but I won't name names. <laughs> do you uh, know what? Right, so 
obviously I've had nothing to do with the army ever and um, this week has like been really great with just like how well everyone just like I've come into a place where I don't know anybody apart from some weird Scottish bloke <laughs> and everybody's just really welcoming and there's just like proper like banter all the time and like you feel accept it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're on it. You know, no, you, you, kind, you kind of feel except if you if you like feeling accepted and also being ripped it out of at the same time, it's brilliant. It's like it's yeah. like coming away with a group of mates wherever yeah. you go. You come down for two weeks, like with a group of mates and surfing. Like for me, that's nothing could be better than that. And yeah. do you know, what? I think my 22 years in the army, I think there's, there's no nowhere else like that. The way you can just turn up, meet people, and just have that immediate. I could take the piss out of you. And I don't even know you, and it's just so normal, you know. And it's a good way, I think, of clicking, especially on an event like this, because I think it takes, like, it's quite a unique to surf. I think you have to be quite a unique mindset or, or like-minded to other people. And I think, regardless, you know, we had the colonel came down to yeah. the club today, who's yeah. the president of the club, right? Yeah. And actually, was so friendly with everyone. And I yeah. think, in the army, as important as rank is, mm. there's you know, the professional disconnect or connect at work from, from rank and why that's important as a structure. But yeah. stuff like this, it's just yeah, yeah. Charles. Does it like yeah. humanise them a bit as well? Humanise them, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Cause, you know, in, in the room, we've got a huge, you know, varying variation of rank in here. But actually, you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't know who is, or would you actually, that's a good question. Would what? you know who's an officer and who's a young soldier? No idea. No idea. Exactly, and that's a good I'd thing, right? I'd have literally no idea at all. And I think that's a good thing. So, Beth... Yeah, yeah, I do actually you. think army surfing is one of the only sports or things I've done with the army where once you're away, it, it doesn't really matter yeah. about the rank. Everyone just gets on with everyone else. And like you said, it's just like surfing with friends. But a lot of sports say that that's the way it is, but it isn't. But with Absolutely, army surfing, yeah. it definitely is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I wasn't even, I was literally had a different question there. You just jumped and answered your own question. <laughs> but that's great. That's even better. That's how it's supposed to work. Talk to me about Indonesia. Um, so yeah, the, the, the club went, um, so I think we were meant to do an overseas sports tour, was it every two years, every two but years, then yeah. with COVID it's been delayed about three years now. Yeah. So I think the last overseas tour before that was Australia, Australia in like 2017, yeah, 18. Yeah, I see you till what? Yeah. Australia. I just, yeah, <laughs> just going to say the same thing. Out the corner of my yeah. eye, I see the two new ones <laughs> going. Australia. <laughs> so sadly, I couldn't go on the Australia trip because I had to go to south of France and coach for two weeks with army surfing. Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? territory. Oh, yeah. And uh, in Australia, though, mate. <laughs> Barrett's mate is something else. Yeah, she yeah, no, that doesn't yeah, sound too bad. When you talk, use a mic. Far mate. better oh. trip. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mate. Me and Jess had a great time in Barrett's. There's something else out there. Yeah, I just Australia was better. Yeah, Australia was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Were you in France? No. Was you in Australia? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard your stories, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we probably can't pretty even wild. mention some of no, that. Some of those stories will never be spoken about. Well, in fact, just while we're on Australia, what was the, what was the crack? What was, why were we in Australia? Um, so that was a competition um, against the Australian Defence Force, so British yes. Army, VZ Aussies. Um, the RAF sent a team out as well, so that was really good to get all the clubs there together. Who won? We got our asses handed to us. <laughs> by well, by the, the Australians. Australians. Yeah, overall. <laughs> and the RAF. We had some... Uh, Pardon? And the RAF won. Oh, and what? Bodyboarder, so. The Aussies definitely won. I don't know who yeah. won between us and the RAF. <laughs> Can you remember? Uh, yeah, we won. Well, yeah, it was us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, yeah, before won. that, there was a California trip yeah. as well. Yeah, so that was... US Mar- yeah, yeah, the US Marine, Marine Corps. Corps. Yeah, yeah so was sponsored by Red Bull, I believe. Red Bull, yeah. Who were then Everyone massively got bored disappointed. Everyone bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to get some pro surfers. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never again. So that w- Imagine if we were sponsored by Red Bull. Like, something like that. Like we better get a toffee crisp at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, for a prize for everybody. It's crazy. They've got so much money to spend on this stuff, which is... I think like that. That's th- I love the like the American Army like for that reason. Like they've got so much money to spend on their sport, and they take it really seriously. Absolutely, like, yeah. I have not personally seen them surf like against us, but <laughs> I'd be so I'd, I'd feel so intimidated getting in the water. Yeah, that was before yeah. I was. Were the you only we in the club so then? I was in that the was club before. Then. Yeah, I, I missed joined. out on that trip though. Ooh, but maybe we should reinvigorate it. The the camp against the guys they competed against. They had a beach on the back of the camp, so you could literally walk out out of work. Was that board. Pendleton? It's called Camp Pendleton. Yeah, yeah it's a big US Marine base. That's like their, tra- their sort of phase one training place. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. What a trip, man, mm. to get involved in that. Um, so, yeah, going back to Indonesia, how was that? And uh, 
How did you find it? Yeah, it was pretty reefy out there, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there, were, there was um, you know, a wave just out the back of camp, a John Bacor. Um, we and the the reef in front of it was called the Surgeon's Table. Um, I think we all spent a bit of time on the table. We all got a bit of reef time, didn't we? A bit of time on the table. But yeah, it was. there was no... There was a different wave we went to in the end, um, Crewe, where there was like a sand a bit to the side and actually a channel you could paddle yeah. to safety. But at Jong Bacor, there was no way out sometimes, was there? Just pretty brutal on that reef. But um, yeah, because it was definitely pushing my ability to even... I didn't sign up for it the first two years. It was... Yeah. On because I didn't think I would be good enough to go, but then the third, <laughs> the third year, Rich tried again. I thought I'd, I'd give it a go. I mean so that's a serious wave. Was that the first time you surfed reef? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's just even just a jumper core as well. You have to paddle in over the reefs. You've got to time it right. Paddle out over the reef, and obviously if you met either of those up, then you're just on the reef. So. <laughs> and it was a two-week um, trip, right? Two-week trip. Was yeah, it any, Sumatra. Any big dramas on the on the reef. Any big injuries or? No, we're really lucky actually. I think. Um, what was the sign they made at the end? It was like, good waves, good times, no casualties or something. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. And, and Martin, how did you find that? Y- you're obviously like the club's, you know, one of the top dogs, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. We you wouldn't say that because yeah, you're a very you're humble sponsored. guy wearing <laughs> Lightning McQueen Crocs. See, you love them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do. Like do you know it. what? For someone who keeps taking a piss out of them, you haven't shut up about <laughs> them, like, continuously. I, I, so. I think they're going to be in your uh, on your wish list at Christmas. Yeah. yeah. You asked me what I wanted earlier as a presentation exactly. from Army Surfing. I want them. Maybe whether you're already whether getting whether them. Whether we stand now. Maybe you're already <laughs> getting a box of right, them. Right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they were worth it. But so, um, you're one of the top dogs. What's your disciplines? Um, well, when I first started, I was doing all three disciplines. So I was short, long, and bodyboard. Mm. But then doing all of that in one day, I was like, I can't do it. Yeah, so, I now I just do the long and it. short board. Um, and I, I don't know which one I prefer yet. I oh try and see. Really? I d- really don't know which one I prefer. Um, yeah. I don't know. How long have you surfed? I've surfed for about... Probably 10, 11 years. Okay. Yeah. How did you start? What did you start on? Short, long, or just whatever took you? Started on the biggest swelly you've ever seen, mate. I had a, had a swelly. My dad bought a 7.6 Mundaka board. Still got it. Um, uh, grew up surfing that and a swelly. And then dropped straight down to like a 5.2. <laughs> and it took it's a the good... the obvious step, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I took <laughs> a good year of beatings on that. Went up to like a five five that five five i have now which i bought 30 quid off facebook and it's one of the best boards i have amazing you can get a whole surfboard on facebook for 30 quid and it's brilliant <laughs> five brilliant. times the you know cheaper uh, five times cheaper than a pair of them. the footwear <laughs> <laughs> you all keep talking about him and you say <laughs> you don't like him I think even we might not even put a picture of on the on the podcast of what they are. Just leave people guessing. I yeah. know <laughs> well, because I still need to get another good pair. So, I'm, let me get my good pair. First. Okay. I tell you what, I don't want to be outbidded by somebody else. Sales are going to go for the roof after this podcast. <laughs> 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 Maybe we could be sponsored by yeah. Lightning McQueen. Oh, that's that a new angle, isn't it? I'd never be livid. He would be, yeah, he'd be raging. <laughs> he'd be coming back. So uh, you know, going back to it, you are a very good surfer. I wouldn't say very good. I, in terms of nuki surfing. Say bang average, um, in the in the club a, b- a bit more. Uh, you know, uh, this pisses me off, right? People that refer to themselves as average surfers, right? I am an average surfer. Okay, I go out, I will fuck up half my takeoffs, and I will do a bottom turn and then just fall off for no reason. That is average surfing. No, but I suppose you you average, will land an air and throw a ton of spray. You are making it hard for people like me who say I'm an average surfer, and people are like, "Ah, oh, that means you can do an air, doesn't it?" Wink, wink. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> It's your take on average, though, isn't it? Well, average tends to mean average. If I'm it? out surfing against Josh, I'm bang average. How? Where did you come in the comp today? Against in shortboard, I don't even know. Well, but longboard, I won the longboard. Today. You won the longboard. I did today. How? So to right this second, I prefer longboarding. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we won't go into yours. <laughs> <laughs> Selling my longboard, piece of shit. <laughs> Never longboard in my life again. <laughs> You'll come longboarding with me on a two foot uh, day. Anyway. People were award. saying that you look like you were doing really well. You look incredibly you? graceful, yeah. Yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Have, you s- have you all got together and yeah. be like, oh. <laughs> we, we spent the whole time thinking it, it was Mitch and Yellow, but it wasn't, yeah. it was the other guy. 
Sorry. Yeah. Mitch was in blue. Uh, <laughs> establishing this. <yeah. laughs> yeah. Wow, he's amazing. I, w- he's I went down this because it was, you know, it was, it was tall can close out. So when I and I went down as this. As always. Yeah, as always. I went down this left on a on a Skinner board, yeah. which is class, is amazing, great to be on a Skinner board. And I realised I was miles in front of the shoulder, so I thought, right, I'll try and cut back a little bit. And I managed to turn the board back, and I was like, oh, I need to turn it back now down the line. And I rotated my entire body thinking the board would just follow. The board didn't follow, but my body then, something I had to give, my body yeah. continued pivoting <laughs> like a ballerina, just threw me off. That was the <laughs> worst wipeout ever. It's I, awful. I actually got video of you now saying I've got newfound respect for longboarders. You yes. Not. You <laughs> yes. Not. I tell you what, there's a newfound respect for longboarders. Go on. And when you didn't, when you come back out the second time, I'm looking at longboarding. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't pleasant. But it was a tricky day. How did you guys find it today? Yeah, it was all right. A bit um, challenging, but it was good. Challenging. In what way challenging? I didn't really know what I was expecting. Um, Mm. So I didn't really know what I was up against. But yeah, so the waves I thought was a bit challenging. Because where I know it was competition, I was panicking. And I was like, ah, just trying to get out there. Right, okay. And probably half drowning than actually surfing. But (laughs) 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 It's a tricky. You know, army surfing, I don't know. You can't use what I've been to. Like, it's always everything or nothing isn't it there's no one between it army surfing comps i think nearly every longboard army surfing comp's been like head high close out carnage every single time last year was the same it was sh- i think it was 19 seconds yeah. six foot it's all calm it was because i remember the beginners when the novices so last year the novices went out so the bigger the set period so 19 seconds tends to mean the bigger the gap between the waves that come in but then the more power and tends to be bigger in size it was like so it was huge and the novices went out and it was like glass. There wasn't a wave for like five minutes. There was nothing, not even a ripple. And they all paddled out. So uh, there's no out back because you don't know where you are. And this, these monsters. <laughs> I actually ran to the beach as a lifeguard. <laughs> these monsters. And I remember all of them like nine foot foamies. And this <laughs> bomb. I'm saying it's like at least head and a half. On a nine foot four me, having surfed for like five <laughs> days. It looked, like <laughs> I remember it looked like you on your longboard. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. yeah, but they paddled out and they got s- all of them so- clean up the face. And then that pause of bang <laughs> as they got pummeled and they all got out of the water and we're like nope but again <laughs> go back to that you know that that sort of the sports personness of you know army surfing like it's just the one-upmanship because you know i coach um surfing in civilian surf schools <laughs> or oh, weird thing to say civilian surf schools in a surf school um and you are a civilian <laughs> No, almost. 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 Um, I've been trying to be a civvy for the last <laughs> 10 years. <so laughs> <laughs> I think I'm doing it well with this mullet. <laughs> um, yeah, y- you know, you couldn't get... The way we come down in, in, in a surf school, you're kind of trying to give that experience to somebody of just enjoy everything, but actually army surfing people will head out for the first ever experience and five foot close house and love it it's, it's not even that bad like i think that's amazing that's such a cool thing have you guys found so this is the first this is the first one you've been on yeah how have you found it as the week goes so far after the first week um i found it really sick to be fair just interesting it's like it's a weird sport isn't it because it's quite chill do you know what i mean not everyone's like hating on each other or like wanting people to lose you're like oh that's a sick wave or yeah, so I found it really cool. Um, yeah, and then you can like rest when you want, or you can you know carry on catching waves when you want. So I found it really good. Um, yeah, really really fun. And how's the week looked? So it's not obviously the comp's been today, but what have you been up to during the week? Um, so we'll be surfing mainly in the afternoon because of the tide, and then we'll just have like coffee and breakfast in the morning, and then yeah, surf in the afternoon, and then just come back and then do whatever. That sounds really tough. <laughs> Sounds grim. And so obviously you won't want to come back. <laughs> this will be the last one. <laughs> yeah, definitely will be coming back. <laughs> you know, like the people at the top are going to watch this and go, "Why are we letting them go and do nothing <laughs> for two weeks?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> literally. <laughs> M- Mitch's plan was. Mitch's like plan no, was. They've been I'm in from eight till five every day. Have you? Yeah, yeah. We've been in yes. from like eight a.m. to like five p.m. every night. Yeah, <laughs> every day. <laughs> And yeah. uh, do you know what? I'm curious about um, <laughs> Beth. You've been so. How long do you say you've been wearing myself? Six, seven years. Are there about? So the first beginners week I did, I think yeah. s- maybe six years ago, and then I've been more part of the club. I think okay, like the yeah. last three years. And how have you found it as a you know when you came to the club? I'm trying to remember that beginners week. There wasn't a lot of females on it, or was there? How have you found it? Because uh, you've probably been the consistent female through army surfing uh, in my time here. 
you're laughing at me. That did that sound awful? Uh, that's I, not, I, I, mean, uh, I hope that's not how it's supposed to sound. <laughs> no, 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 it's it's a I mean, you're consistent <laughs> as in coming to the trips and the events and doing lifeguard course and all that sort of progression with you know a surf club. How have you found it being a female within what people would perceive as just a, a you know a man dominated um, industry and in the military? Um, well, everyone on the trips is yeah always really nice and supportive of each other. I'm sure um, you guys who are new this week have, have felt like that as well. Um, even though we've had different groups of girls on quite a few of the trips, they've we've always all got on really well. And um, I don't think it's I don't know. I guess you don't really when you're part of the club, you're just part of the club. I mean, uh, obviously we don't have as many people, so so today we only had enough for one heat but i am seeing more more and more girls signing up yeah. to the club um more and more c volunteering to come down so i do think it's definitely going to grow for sure what <laughs> i don't i don't know i, just, I, I thought, thought you were a follow-up i thought, thought you were a follow-up no, you were still the first time i've like, seen you speechless i was like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were I was like i've obviously not said what you want me to say so <laughs> <laughs> no no it's <laughs> all try again you know, yeah. what was the what was the <laughs> no 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 you answered that issue, issue answer. it was <laughs> the vein. do you find that like we we get asked loads of loads of times about this question about women in surfing and stuff like that do you find a difference being a woman in surfing do you get treated differently out in the lineup like not take it away from army side of it. Is there a difference between surfing with army people and surfing with just locals? Locals. Service. That's a stinging question. Isn't it? Oh. You've that had an experience, scene, haven't you? Probably with that? Mason. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't think. I think it's it's pretty okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't. I know we were talking about the other day about um, there's a lot of separate clubs so there'll be a girls surf school and guys surf school um yeah. but yeah in especially around cornwall i've seen l lots of girls in the water um so i don't really um yeah don't really think of it no you not occasionally i'll go to a spot um and we went to like harlan or um up near constantine and then i'll be like the only girl in the lineup i'm like oh this is weird but um yeah. i think if you're around new qa and stuff like that is normally pretty mixed which is which is good yeah yeah because I, I think it's just hard to relate to like I'm, I'm well aware of you know the the conversation about how you know some women will say how they get made to feel in the lineup uh, amongst a lot of blokes but i think the thing that maybe gets forgotten is that equally i feel like that if i had like, like we served a spot the other day which will remain unnamed there wasn't a lot of people out there but i, st I felt that i had to prove myself and that i wasn't supposed to be there um, so I, I sort of feel like I can relate to that, but without having lived, I guess, the experience of what yeah, some people I think, might. I think some some people say as well, like if you're paddling for a wave, if there's a guy near you, they'll just assume you that you're, mm. you're not going to get it and always paddle next to you, which can be a bit off-putting if people are like yeah. trying to get into it. That kind of thing you hear about, but you just got to make sure you catch a few at the beginning and yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> nick, nick, nick the waves <laughs> at the beginning. Like, and yeah. like you said before, it also makes a difference if you're surrounded by 20 squaddies. <laughs> like well, I mean, we don't go on own lineups anywhere at all. We've never had that as a game plan, have we? Ever. <laughs> so, because we remain professional in the lineup. And what got you into uh, surfing? Where did that begin for you? Um, so I'd done like uh, a day or two down in Devon, probably well, when I was at uni. A long time, a long, long time ago. <laughs> I can literally see your head <laughs> reminiscing. <laughs> <in uni. laughs> um, and then I saw um, Army Surfing Beginners Week advertised. Um, so uh, thought, yeah, I really enjoyed it when I did it. It's something that I'd like to try again. Um, and I was trying to get a few of the guys from my unit to do a bit more uh, sport and AT and trips. So I managed to book on, but then bring about eight of them, maybe six to eight of them down with me, which was really good as well. Like to yeah. try and. Um, kind of widen the participation and like introduce it to people who'd not done it before so yeah um so yeah since then kind of reinstarted the reignited the surfing passion i guess but yeah i'm really lucky that i stumbled across that yeah. beginners week advert because some people i've spoke to um in the army and they say they've been surfing for 10 years and never heard of it or something so no absolutely yeah yeah Knowledge is power. And Paddy, what about yourself? How did you stumble into surfing or where did that start for you? God, it was really embarrassing for me, really, because it was it was more like a lad's holiday, really, than anything else. So there's about s three or four of us that went to Baritz, um when we just commissioned. So it was not Australia. Yeah, so. yeah. So uh, and it was there to it was almost a 
a bit of a you know holiday, go for a drink and blow off some steam. Not really to surf. Right. We got into it when we were there, but we just we we just weren't part of that scene in any sense. So we went to a yoga session actually after our first one. We had a huge <laughs> night out. I went to probably got in about four and then had this yoga session on the beach and it was all very ethereal. Like the vibe that the the girl, I felt so sorry for her what she was trying <laughs> to create. And um, <laughs> my my friend Charlie genuinely turned up with half a can of Cronenberg just to this <laughs> to this yoga session and uh, just let out this huge burp like halfway through. It's so bad. So we like looking back and I think we spoke about mm. this before. Like the waves are so great there, and yeah, I just look, yeah. looking back at some of the videos that we took before, I can see it in a new light, and I just thought, for God's sake, why? Like a wasted opportunity. Why didn't I actually yeah. like engage with with the surfing yeah. rather than just going out and like you know wearing a mankini in a you know a French <laughs> nightclub, which <laughs> which we will also be overlaying <laughs> pictures which, which of. Which is more frown- <laughs> <laughs> which is more frowned upon in Baritz than you would think. <laughs> yeah. And Alex, I actually don't know how you got into surfing. For how long I've known you, where did that start? Um, how did I get into it? I just, I my dad was working in North Devon, mm. and uh, I just literally got aboard and went out and, you know, as it is, you always learn to surf on something that's about five foot. Yeah, learn the hard way. I'm um, sure, you told us this the other day. You know, he's forgotten yeah, about it. Yeah, on the other podcast yeah. we mentioned it. Yeah, a bit, I think. no, I mean I know, but I don't know what order these are getting released in. So yeah. this, I was thinking teaser. Well, for okay. later on, well, I'm just I'm just paying attention of how much you think of it. I mean, that you to be don't honest, actually listen to <laughs> you've a word spent he said. you've spent a week with Alex. It's so easy yeah. to switch off the second he's. Should we talk talking. about those photos from from Indo? What photos? Oh yeah, Let's, he wants. To oh right, that up. yes. See so, as you uh, brought it up. Yeah, Beth. Uh, no, no. Let me do this. <laughs> Go on. Let me do this. So, Beth, Alex, Alex got loads of. I mean, I've seen some of your photos on from Indo on Facebook. Thank amazing you. thank you awesome surfing thanks alex as we know is alex mason photography and water photographer alex got like what a thousand photos of you or thereabouts and water photography alex Some under overs yeah hey under overs yeah. yeah alex have you got anything to tell beth well i deleted all of them by <laughs> complete accident however had a really good chat with Pete and I've recovered them all. <laughs> oh, have no you? Way. I didn't know that. So I'm going to fuck you have right off. Awesome. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah. Oh, oh. What, oh. Oh. what? You like, actually got them? Um, thank you, Pete. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> so here's here's one of them. There, there's the one. <laughs> oh, we'll get, we'll get these them. up so we can show people what's going on. <laughs> what well, an, ang- what an angle. So if you me, scroll Pete. the other way, so there's a few I was others. hoping to get one up on him. I feel so good right now. That was like a 50 minute with the refund when we had him on. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. If you accidentally delete some yeah. photos, you can actually recover them. That Just go on YouTube. I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely <laughs> stoked for you, Beth. But yeah. I'm also gutted yeah. for Alex. Thank you. That's right. Yeah, uh, I was just wanted to see how that conversation was going to pan <laughs> out. That's why I put it up. So editing. <laughs> so editing. He said to me straight after we left, he was on the computer like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to do this. I have to do this. <laughs> was that really easy to do as well? Uh, pretty. Yeah. Like. Yeah. If it just you takes time. Just time watch YouTube. Yeah. 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 Tutorial or whatever. Yeah. Well, you've got to be stoked on that, Beth. I wouldn't cool. scroll too yeah. far back on this. <laughs> 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 Absolutely not. Yeah, I know that's amazing. Um, that we were surfing somewhere and um, the water was really clear and you could see the reef and stuff. And um, he was taking some of the <laughs> above below. So you've probably seen them where yeah, you like can see dome, people sat yeah. on a board and it's crystal clear reef underneath. And then, yeah, that's yeah. what we we're going for. And then he told me he deleted them all. So <laughs> yeah. what, is, uh, <laughs> what have you got out of army surfing? so far like the whole time being in army surfing what have you got out of it what's it given you what's what have you got out of army surfing that you don't get out of normal army life should i say um well since i did the beginners week um well I, i've always really liked the water anyway um i was going to say one of the other things that got me into surfing i've always been a swimmer um so i was doing like open water swim comps and stuff with and swim champs with the army anyway and it was just kind of more of a natural progression um but since being involved with army surfing pretty much all of my holidays and traveling since then have been surf camps and i've moved to cornwall so, <laughs> so it's yeah, it's pretty, yeah, pretty much of a life yeah. change yeah a lot, big life yeah. change and uh <laughs> what you've done it again well, i've done it I thought you were going to say something have i not done the issue no, answer again no. <laughs> what did, what there's was no like issue <laughs> answer <laughs> no, you say no, is no, answer. normally someone gives us an answer Stun, and it, 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 leaves, you into silence. No, it leaves us with something where we can go to it but you give oh. a full answer and it's like well you've answered everything i could ask about that Thank you. no more well, that's very just like going yeah. well next question then. it's very yeah. professional isn't Thank it you. Yeah. thanks very much and what about so three years army surfing what's it uh what's it give you martin mike's coming from everywhere 
Um, yeah, like, like I mentioned before, um, I get to come down home a lot more. So this two weeks is like just two weeks of leave for me. I get to stay at home five minutes away from down to camp. Um, and then I can go and surf with mates and not by myself. Yeah. Um, but no, I've got my qualifications to teach so that I can come down, get more leave and just teach people all day. That's brilliant. Um, I've got my lifeguard, which looks like I'll probably be taking over that for the uh, competition. Good. Um, I'm assistant team manager with one of the other guys, Dean. Um, so I've taken that over as well. Uh, what else? I think that's more. Well, trips away like Indo. The trips. Indo, or Indo else, was yeah. insane. Oh, I didn't want to leave. Had you done Indo before? Never. 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 So done you Indo. got a tech list right there, didn't you? Yeah. The only uh, other place. How did I'd you find that? that? For like s- same sort of questions earlier, but how did you find s- going somewhere like that, surfing like that for the first time? Do you know what? The first like week was really fun. And I really enjoyed it. The waves weren't massive, were they, the first week? And then the second week, me and uh, one of the other scholarship guys, Max, we, Ujjan Bakor, we were talking about, it was like, from the beach, it looked maybe head high. And then we paddled out, (laughs) we walked over the reef. Then we should have noticed because there's nobody else in, no locals, nothing. We're like, oh, we can hack this. Um, We paddled out and this triple overhead set came. And it's not like you can duck dive deep. It's like two foot of water and reef. So you're almost taking the fingers, uh, the skin off your fingers, um, duck diving. So you have to duck dive really shallow and then you're just getting ragged about. Um, I managed to catch one wave of the end of that set. And there was two guys on the beach looking. And they said, I just look like a speck coming down this wave on like a 5'9 board, which was chattering all the way down the <laughs> face. Um, went to go and hit the lip and they just said I disappeared for about 40 seconds it felt like a lifetime <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I ended up on the surgeon table <laughs> nice yeah. and I tell you what that doesn't sound like average surfing yeah. <laughs> it felt like average surfing <laughs> when I was getting <laughs> beat up underneath I mean I could <laughs> equally do the bit on the surgeon's table just the bit before it wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that wasn't me Max actually ended up about 500 metres down the bay um, where I got out and then started riding down the beach as if it was okay it was pretty mental. But I loved it. I'd live out there. I'd oh, go tomorrow. Sure, yeah. Yeah. I know somebody that's got a plan to live out there already. He's been asking me to come with it. Oh, is he? Yeah. Right, okay. He's been setting his crew nice and early. Yeah. We can't talk about that too much. No. Don't want to give his big plan away. <laughs> and Alex, you're the old sweat of army surfing. Mm, What's it giving you? So. Yeah, the trips have been pretty unreal. You know, we, me and you have been on some mm. amazing trips. Amazing. I think the Hebrid is has actually been one of the most amazing trips I've been on. And it doesn't even sound that glamorous, but you get up there yeah. and it's empty lineups. Is you know, there's no one else up there surfing. Cleanest uh, water, cold sands. It's cold, but it, it is incredible. Ten minutes from your house. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> miles from my house. Nowhere near me. <laughs> yeah, so I've been lucky to go on a few good trips. I was on the Australia trip with Beth, and then Indo again. Uh, we, we, like we've spoken about quite a lot. Um, and then we did a a core trip to Hosgor. So the Army Medical Services went away to Husqvarna and did that which was mm. a bit different which was a really good trip yeah. well I remember when I got involved with Army Surfing was that Army Medical Services was probably the biggest footprint <coughs> like you guys have got your own boards in the store you've got all sorts of gear in there mm. I'm not sure that's still the case but there was always loads of medics yeah our surfers transferred and for some reason yeah. <laughs> Can I add as well you that you <laughs> I got bad not saying it before. Yeah. Perhaps Permission to speak, Beth. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on, what else have you got to kill no, us? No, one, <laughs> one of the best things, obviously, from army surfing is having people to go surfing with. Because um, for like a few years, I've been thinking about trying to get back into it. I'd just be driving to Porth Call on my own every Saturday. Mm. And I wouldn't really know what I was doing or what tide to go out or what board to use. Yeah. Um, and just meeting people here, we'd book. Um, well, I'll do the 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 structured weeks but then we c- would also um keep in touch and would maybe book a weekend in Cornwall together or in Devon and just like have people to go and practice with um good yeah. friends to train with all weekend which has made it so much m- so much better no yeah. absolutely yeah yeah and um you guys I guess you'd be like the groms of the club I guess the newbies to the club what are you hoping to get I presume you're going to want to come back now you're both pretty much champs already uh I don't know I'm hoping to get um I don't know, I kind of want to be a surfing instructor eventually. Okay. Um, I want to get away. Now you guys mentioned Australia. I think that's <laughs> been kept as a bit of a secret. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And, um, yeah, I'd like to do my lifeguarding as well. Um, but, yeah, I hope to get that all next year or so. Yeah, definitely. You stick yeah. with the club and um, 
I'm sure you guys that are taking up the roles yeah. make sure that you do as well. Yeah. Yeah. Just want people to give back, you know. And we do function like a proper surf club. We like we said before, we train our own instructors, we have our own boards and equipment and whatever else. And you know, in Australia, going back to it, you guys met some insane big dogs of the surf world, didn't you? There was guys out there that were like big time sponsored incredibly met, um, good mark, mark richards mark richards yeah. well yeah him yeah, as well he came and judged the comp i was talking about the guy that competed w- in recent years on like the um surf league and stuff and was really what was his name dylan story oh yeah tri- yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they were like surfer. really really actually properly good yeah they are kind of <laughs> good looking as well you know sort of play that pisses you off because oh he surfs yeah. great he's really good looking they, they call themselves yeah. average surfers <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah so i bet it do yeah. yeah an average australian surfer um yeah, Mark Richards came and um, surfed with us, which is pretty sick. That doesn't happen every day, does it? Um, compete. Uh, sorry, then he he was so nice. He judged yeah. on the on the comp, didn't he? Then he came back here, and I did. You, was he here when he came back? I came down for the weekend, but I had to work this yeah, week. So. so I was away for it. But I don't think there was many people that went on the Oz trip that were able to come on the trip when he came back, which was a shame. Right. Uh, yeah. But he came, well, came back, like he lives here or not, but he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, came, he came to the UK. Um, with the Aussie team, yeah. Story, yeah. Yeah, with the Aussie, That's really cool. Aussie guys. Amazing. And um, what's um? I mean, Beth, I guess it's your your role. What's in the pipeline for Army Surfing? Anything coming up the rest of the year or future? Um. So we have got a few um instructor training uh, weeks scheduled. So we've got one in February and uh, one in March. Um, we've got another round of beginners weeks um kicking off. I think starting in June. Um, but if anyone's listening who actually wants to sign up for any of these, you can uh, Google Army Surfing, join the club, and there's a link which will give out the whole schedule there for anyone who wants to come down to an event. The club's yeah. skin after Indo. Thanks to you. Well, I, including some people at the very top, didn't even know Army Surfing was a thing. And it is. Yeah, I get it, it all is. The time. So definitely. Yeah. Chain of command definitely yeah. I mean, like, like, seven years. I don't want to turn it into a, a recruitment video. <laughs> 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 but, like... The US Army. That, oh, that yeah. That was my get-out clause for not remembering the exact dates of everything. Yeah. yeah. It's fine, yeah. But, you know, like, there's so, like, just speaking to you guys throughout the week, there's so much stuff you've done and you've been on, not only with surfing, but other stuff in the Army as well. That you've Places you've been, places you've got to see, things you've got to do does sound pretty good, to be honest. I mean, you must... I mean, it's part of the package. There's yeah. a lot goes with then being able to do this. And these things are so important for, you know, that is now sounding like a, a recruitment yeah. video, but for retention and keeping people keen to stay in. But and I suppose yeah. it's for keeping people sane as well, in a way. I t- I, you've not spoke to anyone, no? <laughs> There's no one. <laughs> I'm just looking at, <laughs> looking at uh, Tashcam over there. <laughs> oh, we could do a Tashcam on this yeah, one as we well, could we? Tashcam on this <laughs> one. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely not all like this, but if you get a week like this, once a year, every yeah, that's twice what I mean, a year, that's it makes it all mean, worth so it. You so. You've got that whole work thing going on all the time, always in. Mm. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. It's fine. Yeah, you've got that work <laughs> thing. You know, you're always in work, you're always... <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to explain it without it sounding like. Yeah, I'm the you know job what I mean? always will come first. If yeah. you need to go somewhere, mm. you need to go somewhere. So. Yeah, like someone was supposed to be in the comp today, and they got called away, and just you know you're going there next week. Yeah. So you can't actually. Like to me, planning my life sort of thing is like you know it's just like oh yeah I'm doing this next week I'm doing that and doing this and you can't actually do that all the time because it's like yeah you've got to go here you've, you've yeah been told for sure yeah. stuff like this is just a little bit of uh well that's where I think the professionalism of the club like planning these events fuck you took out. over <laughs> 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 planning these events so far out as we did as you, you mentioned the app where everything we have now planned for the year through Army Sport we know everything that's going on and for the members or new members could join the app see everything that's going on. You're then able to tell your respective chain of command, your bosses, oh, this is happening in this time and, and get that time well in advance to get away. Because as we know, like all of us, it's hard to get away on stuff, especially more junior ranks. It's not so easy because army surfing, you're off army surfing. That's not a thing, is it? We've all experienced that. And um, I think that's where the professionalism's come. So you said that so much better than I said it. <laughs> you, you were stumbling all over yourself. Because I, I, could I know what I wanted to say, but I didn't know how I actually wanted to say <laughs> yeah. it. Like, yeah, I'm not going to go. I'll just do it again. Like, <laughs> literally, the s- and I'll say the same thing and still look like a twat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a few questions we, we always ask um, guests that we have on. and just Let's start with the new ones because this will be fun because they're still new to it and fresh. All oh right, okay, the, right. The your answers probably come from today. So we like to ask, what was your 
Um, worst wipeout or experience within <laughs> surfing. So let's start with that. You already know then. <laughs> um, so I've had a lot of people at work before I come going, oh, are you actually any good at surfing? And I'd like to class myself as a professional drowner um, as my category. Um, I think one of the, there's been quite a few and quite a few have actually been caught on video where I've like drowned myself, come up gasping for and I've re-drowned myself. Um, but I think the best one from today uh, was actually is one of the g- other girls, Isla, who's not here. Of uh, we, <laughs> <laughs> she did she survive? Um, but yeah, we were going out and we were doing, I think it was the women's category, and obviously the waves throughout the day had got bigger and bigger and bigger, and it was one of those we both just looked across from each other. Looked up at this big <laughs> wave and was like, I'm in danger. <laughs> 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 and um, just totally got washing machine. But then after that, it was a case of got on a green wave. And I think because there was a lot of double double waves, I kind of misjudged it. Yeah. Got thrown forwards and basically a forward roll off the front of my board and then continued to do somersaults underneath. Brought up gas for air and then basically to go back down before I got crashed by another one. Still so one though. Well, yeah, still survived. Still, still got there. Still here. Still got a trophy. <laughs> and what about yourself? What's the worst experience, worst wipeout? Um, I had a bad one today where I thought I got a bit cocky and I was there like, I can I can do a bigger wave. Went for the bigger wave. Nose deep went, nope. And then went all the way down. And then you know where you tumble under and sometimes you get really panicky or you get into that weird moment where you're just so calm because you're just there like, I'm just going to let it happen. <laughs> like, and That's I what I do. Said. I yeah. let go of my board and I was just like, I'm letting it happen. And then I just like sit there for a bit, come back up and then another wave's come in and I was like, right now, God is really hating on me right here. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. this is not lucky. But um, yeah, uh, but every day's been like that. But then you get some good waves. But then, yeah, most of the time I am under more than over the water. <laughs> I think my lungs are just full of water and so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, that's nice most and of healthy. Us, most Absolutely, of us spend yeah. more time under <laughs> the and water. Uh, Tashcam. I already did this. Right, we'll do it again. <laughs> okay. uh, skip him off then. Oh, skip him off, right? Yeah, skip him off. Ford and Bastard. People <laughs> can, uh, Martin. Uh, not the same wipeout at Ujon Bakor, but Ujon Bakor again. Um, I wasn't surfing, um, <laughs> but I'm still going to class <laughs> it as a wipeout. This still classed as a wipeout, okay? And this outside set just swung wide. Um, and that again came through about triple overhead. Um, and it's one of those ones where you're paddling, trying to paddle as quick as you can to go over this wave. And you're just going up vertically and you come fully backwards <sighs> and you land on your back and then you wash your machine and washing machine, and washing machine, and then you end up on reef, which is, when you're walking over, it doesn't seem that sharp, but when it's, you landed on your back on that stuff, <laughs> it's not nice. I'm on, on the table. I'm on the table. over head, getting dragged with yeah. The locals treat it, so you told them. Oh, the locals think it's like two foot. Uh, yeah, but afterwards, when you, you go back and they just... Yeah, they just sort of laugh at you, man. Line, and they just... Yeah, so we're saying that, obviously we all brought like loads of med kit out, being a good medic we are, or whatever. And um, the locals will just literally grab a lime and fucking smash it in your back and <laughs> rub it in, and you're literally there, like, <laughs> 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 and they're like Witchcraft. just laughing at you, you know. Now I'm but sad and in pain. <laughs> 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 and uh, and Beth. Um. So when I went on the Oz trip, um, I'd only done one beginner's week before, so it's about four or five days of surfing. Um. But one of the other girls on the team couldn't go last minute, so I got called in. Um, and the comp day for that, so it was proper waves, Australian waves, not really probably quite prepared for it, but in there for the comps, I had to give it a go. Um, but the first day, I think they put the girls in first, and we all got absolutely annihilated. And after that, they cancelled the comp and said it was too dangerous. So <laughs> so <laughs> it, it was, was <laughs> it was insane. Just to say, it was so bad out there <laughs> yeah. that everybody got paired up with like an a experience, lifeguard. yeah, like lifeguards. <laughs> right. So someone had to swim out with them whilst they were in the comp because it was that fucking rogue out there. Like so <laughs> it wasn't like a beach takeoff. <laughs> it was we were paddling <laughs> in off rocks. <laughs> So, yeah, we were paddling in off rocks, um, so we were all just getting slammed back onto the rocks. There was someone like trying to push us out over the water to get in, and, and then once we were out, out back, they were absolutely massive. And yeah, I actually think. Um, y- did you help me in, or was it? 
Someone help me in. Yeah, I remember. I just remember yeah. being car- it was bodies everywhere. Yeah, it was, abs- <laughs> it was absolute carnage. So, yeah. And then they were like, we should probably cancel yeah. this. So Chuck was all in. I, I definitely, I started, someone shouted go, so I paddled. It was absolutely <laughs> massive. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> afterwards, they were the commentators were like, "Stop telling them to go." <laughs> it was one of the Aussies messing around, I think. But yeah, paddled for this massive wave, and actually, Australian massive wave yeah. got annihilated, spun around a bit. Someone helped me manage to get out over the rocks, and yeah, they, then it, then the comp was cancelled because I think that's <laughs> a great I love story of you know I- inclusivity between yeah. men and women. Yeah, you know, it's huge. Send the girls out. <laughs> 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 Fantastic. I love. This is how the they normally test it, right? I love the fact that when you're new and someone says go, you'll just go anyway. Like <laughs> <laughs> that was now, and someone went go, yeah. you'd go no. <laughs> yeah, exa- exactly. Yeah, yeah, they told them to stop doing that because they were like, they will just go. So. <laughs> Paddy, I can see it in your face like you're either desperate to tell a story about your worst wipeout or you've got nothing. No, it's it's really like it's not tr- gnarly triple overhead sort of story. This again, what? this is average surfers, yeah, you know, yeah. bringing the rest of us down. No. Now our stories don't even so work. Was I sort of <laughs> just staring down on my feet there and sort of thing, reminiscing about it? No, it was in the summer and it was actually like not not a big day at all, really. Uh, but I have this really an uh, irritating habit that I can't shake of just trying to pretend that I'm staying calm and collective until the very last moment <laughs> even though I'm f- even if I'm flying through the air it's really bad like I sort of have to take it on the chin it's, it's so I I sort of I've, I've come off the and it's not a big wave at all and I've come off this thing and just sort of kept my mouth open I don't really know why I was just like <laughs> st- k- trying to keep really casual <laughs> <laughs> and like almost like did, a you, did you just snort <laughs> <laughs> like so I'm just trying to just <laughs> casually breathe, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like I'm not fish. Flying, like I'm not flying through the air with my head, sort of like, like dangling down near the water, and um, <laughs> people around me are looking at me and um, kept it open, and like you know, like a blue whale, and it's just just grabbing sort of plankton from the water. <laughs> I felt like I just inhaled all the seawater all of a sudden. And I came up, and you know when uh, you see that scene on the in between us where Will just clears the swimming pool. Yeah. So I just start like violently chundering all over my face, <laughs> <laughs> all over my face and chest. <laughs> and people next to me are going from laughing, smiling. You know, it's a nice day <laughs> to, to visibly horrifying. <laughs> like, and uh, no one came to help me though. I was sort of, you know, left to myself. Do you know, you know, he said worst wiper, not most disgusting yeah. wiper. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say we've heard some horrendous yeah. stories, but that's the first one that's just been straight up embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's got to be up there. It's the one that came to mind straight away. There's nothing I could do about that. Yeah. And what are you pointing at? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're tapping, and I was you went like that. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you tried to get his attention. Yeah. No, I'd go like that. If yeah. So <laughs> obviously, fella. Mitch. Um, You've been involved with army surfing for quite a long time now, That's and the you. club has literally moved on so much since you took on a lot of stuff, and it fucking kills me to say this. <laughs> 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 but it's going to be really sad to see you go. Um, so we've got I've got a little something here that everyone's like so done a whip round. Okay, so oh, you guys, it's well a red pair of Crocs. Actually, what's to be that pair of Crocs? He wishes. He wishes. I don't even know what's happening here. I do. I've stitched you up completely today, continuously. You're joking. Oh, mate. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so, so this is the day we were out surfing at Hollywell Bay. Um, and obviously, I swam out with the camera. And it was a pretty stunning sunset. And these guys got some cool waves at the same time. So stick it in a frame for mate, you. Mate, I'm so stoked for that. Thank you so much. Anybody has been involved with that, man. That's amazing. Thank you. My leaving gift to Army Surfing involves you. I I have have so, so my fucking name is on the bottom <laughs> corner. Oh, so yeah. I hope you hang it's it in the toilet when you have a shit. <laughs> 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 no, it'll be really sad to see you go, Scott. You've been obviously a really big character. Um, oh, he's gonna make me well up. Time and, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. oh. Do you know what? He was almost there. Oh, and you just switched it like that. <laughs> well, that's awesome, man. I don't know what to say. Yeah, obviously, big character, always positive, um, probably most enthusiastic member of the club, and yeah, I know it's been get great get surfing with you. It's been great surfing with you. Started our journey at a similar time, did, and um, yeah. I think it's yeah, it's been. It's been great having you. Oh, that's... Oh, thank you. It's going to be a big loss. Thank you so much. Yeah. (laughs) You missed off most narcissistic. (laughs) 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 It's it's been an amazing journey. And I I think I was saying that meeting you this week, Paddy, that 
I think army surfing is the thing that's kept me in the army longer than anything. Up to obviously the choice being taken away. Um, and yeah, so I hope for you guys that are new to the club, you can stick with it as long and, and get as much out of it as I do because I've genuinely every year looked forward to the beginners weeks as we've spoke about and just these events, just pissing about surfing and just having an absolute giggle. Like what what else would matter in life? Like that's how I reset surfing and getting to do it and share it with you lot is, is awesome. And this is I love this. Thank you, man. Awesome. Cheers. Yeah. Epic. Got anything else to say? Is that it? No. Well, Thanks, guys, for taking the time to chat to us. Oh, actually, did I? No. A- Alex, because no. it's your job now. What? <laughs> Tell, you know, people that want to join Army Surfing where they can find Army Surfing. How yeah, so involved. the easiest way is probably going to be to find us on uh, social media. Obviously, it's so accessible now. Uh, ping us an email. Uh, and then we can send some stuff across via military email, probably. Uh, so, like, membership form and stuff. But I think that can be done on the normal website, can't it? Yeah, there's yeah. a link on the normal website um, yeah. if you go on army google army surfing and yep. then click join the a uh, web page comes in you put your details on that and it you will get accepted and then you can see the forecast and everything else that's coming up amazing so beth knows my job more than me that sums you up doesn't it by getting job. to know you this week sounds like a lot of people know your job more than you <laughs> <laughs> wow you should actually see me do my job <laughs> isn't being well, a medic pretty critical right? i'm not a medic anymore but yeah <laughs> no, but i'm yeah. suffering thank you so much yeah Cheers. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you. That was mega. Well, I wasn't expecting that, was I? That was amazing. You definitely weren't expecting that. I very nearly saw you get emotional at the end. Very nearly. I thought uh, they were going to make you cry, but well, I don't. You know, did. I don't. I don't mind crying in public if it's right. And, uh, you know, um, but thankfully Mason, the old dog, pulled that back for me by calling me a. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we had to call in you up. <laughs> yeah. And uh yeah, we've got uh we've got one coming up later on. Well, it'll be next year now with uh Alex Mason himself, the surf photographer, and you Alex will Mason lay over himself. some of his photos and his surf photography is is very, very good, I must it say. It's really good, yeah. He's amazing at it. And uh, it was a pleasure to have been on that journey and start that with him. Um, yeah. so I know I asked you before, but is that is that the army surfing are you really going to miss that aren't you oh man army surfing has been for me i don't even know how to put it into words but it has been the one thing you know the the look forward to the you know you know when you when times are tough and you've got loads of you know it's just busy or it's just it's just non-stop relentless relentless work 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 that is yeah. the one thing I've always got that in the back of my mind going there's a comp coming there's a beginner's week coming up every year without fail you know and I've been really lucky and thankful and having good chains of command as we call it um, and I'm able to you know get my work done well in advance that I'm able to go and attend these things obviously you know work yeah. first um, not that this isn't work because it's part of the package as we said in the piece you know yeah. this comes with a yeah, territory it does it does feel more like um army surfing feels like because of surfing in general i think army surfing feels more relaxed as in there was people there and i i wouldn't have been i wouldn't have been aware of their ranks and stuff like that until you told me oh he's this she's that or what rank mm. they were still meant to be honest from an outsider still means nothing to me no and no, no, neither it um, should though but because because I don't I don't know I, I'm, I've never been involved in that world or anything so I, I don't know anything about it but it seems like on army surfing everyone mucks in everyone gets involved everyone sort of gets on with each other as I said you know takes the piss as a laugh banter and all that sort of stuff but it seems like everyone really as much as that laughing and piss taking and joking is going on everyone really wants everyone else to get on and help each other and yeah definitely yeah make sure they're having the best time they can on it and i think that that's a really important point because i think as you know we sort of touched on in the piece that within the army rank is a massively important aspect because it's how things get done it's how it's how a thought transpires to a plan how it transpires to it being executed and actually happening, you know, and within that rank structure, that is where then these plans form, formulate, get passed down, and they come to fruition, you know. So it's so important, but at the same time, it, it can cause um, some maybe professional divides at time and some barriers between yeah. people. And, and to come on any sport within the army, for sure, like rank is sort of dropped within the sport and 
aspect of it but yeah. i think just through the nature of surfing it's probably even more so just because of the way surfing is so yeah. you know to come down and you you wouldn't have known who was who and what was what had i not said not that it matters but to to the younger um lads and lassies up up there yeah. brand new to the army suddenly they're in amongst you know colonels and high ranking officers yeah it, Whereas I think in their daily working environment, that would probably be quite stressful or they'd yeah. be a bit more wary of what they're doing and saying. But to see that these people have the same thoughts and have the same sense of humour and even yeah. professional approach to it, you know, it's, it's really nice to see. Yeah. And uh, I like the uh, fact that one of the colonels came down and still, um, even though there was no worry about it, he still called him sir. <laughs> Well, you know, you just have to be respectful, you know, and then and Charles, you know, said to many people many times, stop calling me, stop calling me Charles. Yeah. And he's I the president of the club. Fella. fella. Yeah, I, just, I just called him <laughs> fella. He's all right with that. <laughs> yeah, I chopped him with a fella. I'm so glad I, you taught me that. So now I'm going to get a kick in from every single army person I ever meet and Breck and chop them with fella. <laughs> and the, man, yeah. the two weeks went amazing. I um, came thud twice in the longboard and no idea how yeah. that actually yeah. done really well really really pleased for that um and th- i got semi-finals in the short board and on the second comp didn't do so well on the first one and yeah. it was just it was an amazing way to leave the club and there was even more presentations afterwards when you left that i got and it's just never ending <laughs> you uh you went for a night out didn't you on the uh on the second week on the thursday maybe Okay. Good night. Yeah, it was a great night, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just leave it as that? So not I push on that one. I didn't have to change the step in my van at all because there was a load of piss on it. <laughs> yeah. That's where you're going. <laughs> I didn't have to buy a new, a new side this, step at all. Actually. Oh, is that yeah. not where you were going? <laughs> I forgot all about that. I wouldn't even have mentioned that. But now all you're right. on it. So uh, what happened on your night out? Well, I needed a pee, didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, and you thought you'd opened your van door and gone out of it? Yeah, well, the van door was definitely open, but I definitely didn't go out of it. <laughs> when I so, up. so let me get this straight. So, you won't piss in your wetsuit, but you'll quite happy <laughs> piss in your van. I mean, seemingly <laughs> well, that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, you also managed to steal my earplugs, but that's all right. That's a different story altogether. You um, lent me them. I also stole your space. <laughs> No, you stole everything. Chip, chip yeah. space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Which my son used. That. We used it on Friday and he wasn't even yeah. that impressed by it. So, you know, order more for me. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, probably didn't put enough on. You should have just put salt and chilli on it. Um, mm. If you don't get that, you'll have to listen to the last episode. Uh, no, yeah, one before last episode. Yeah, so, yeah, we hope you enjoyed this one. As we said, the codes for this. So... If you want 15% off anything at Northcore, go to the Northcore website and use the discount code UKSurfShow15. And if you want 10% off at Surface Wetsuits, that's S-R-F-A-C-E, use the discount code UKSurfShow22, that's the number 22, and that will get you 10% off at Surface. And if you want to get T-Rex arms, like T-Rex arms, Adrenaline Athlete, 50% off for the home edition is Surf Home 50. And the gym edition is Surf Gym 50. Urgh! Yes, we've got a few <laughs> more as well. And, well, that's um, if you head over to our Buy Me Coffee, you can check them out there. There's a few more discount codes on there. There's one for GoPro, there's one for... Oh, I might Surf even Rift. have one for Reef. You know, like Reef. Like oh, yeah. shoes and stuff like that. I'm sure I've got like a thirty percent one for them. I need to throw that on there as well. That's cool. Yeah, throw we'll, we'll throw everything we can at it. Um, yeah, so head over and check that out. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe on the YouTube if you've enjoyed watching this video. And that's it. And that's, that's it. it. That's, that's that's your last army surfing anything, isn't it? Army it's done, me. I mean, surfing, there's there's a small possibility there's an event in February that I might get on before my last day, but we shall see what happens. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Uh, I think it might be in Wales. I think there's a Wales trip happening. There might even be a Scotland trip happening, but we'll see how it goes. Because I'll, I'll I'd like to think I'll be have a a new human job by then. Yeah, and well. getting well underway. But massive thank you to everyone at Army Surfing for putting just so much time and effort in 
to to the presentations for making me feel so welcome, so loved. And I need to give a huge shout to Martin, um, who I discovered the other day actually gave up his place in the shortboard final to go sort out my Jeep Leaders jersey presentation. Like, how nice is that? Oh, nice. He was a nice guy, he was. I liked him. Yeah, good lad, didn't he? Yeah. And who's the other one I liked as well? Is it is it Matt? No. Max. 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 Max Payne. Like Max. Great name. Yeah. And I like Dean. Yeah. Dean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah. Dean's a legend. Mason's all right. I like Mason's, him. Yeah, I don't know. Paddy's a legend. Paddy is an absolute legend. Yeah. First time meeting nice. Paddy. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Yeah, yeah. All those, people, all the people like, yeah, that we spoke to, they, you know, they're all really nice. I yeah. liked it. Well, there you go. Yeah. What a nice way to Good. end. Yeah. We've been your hosts. So, we've been your hosts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of us and each other. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. See you later. <laughs>